What I like about QIA is the challenge which you face when investing in international markets. Ultimately, this is about securing the legacy of the country. We expect to grow our investment every year. QIA is a leading investment institution. Its purpose is to develop, invest and manage the revenue surplus from Qatar's production of liquefied natural gas. Since 2005, it's invested in a range of assets to develop a global diversified portfolio, part of a strategy to generate long-term returns from undervalued companies and build strong partnerships. The Qatar Investment Authority has focused on quality investment partners rather than uh, the quantity of investment. We are uh, very active in all sectors and all asset classes, and we expect to grow our investment every year. I think important to the way in which QIA approaches investing is first thinking about the long term. Second, thinking about value. Um, importantly, that means um, good quality investments um, at the right price at the right time through the right structure. And I think getting those things correct, while they sound, sound simple to say, is incredibly difficult. And I think that has really been the key to the success of the organization to date. In 2005, investments were primarily local and regional, often managed by third parties. The shift in strategy came during the financial crisis of 2008, when QIA was in a position to take bold decisions and expand its portfolio internationally. At the end of 2008, after Lehman Brothers, people thought the financial system was going to melt down. So clearly, those that had cash, and the Qataris had lots of cash, cash was king, they, had, they were in a uniquely strong position to impose strong bargaining terms and they did very well. But on the other hand, you have to give them some credit for some very bold uh, investments like in, in Barclays, when of course the banking system is very uncertain. At the same time, QIA was focused on developing sound risk return frameworks. Coming out of those two deals, end of 2008, um, the challenge was A, to keep a small investment team and keep the pace of investing, and second, to put a bit more governance and processes around the portfolio management of those investments by doubling the assets, but not doubling the employees over the next period of time. The focus is now on continuing to expand its portfolio geographically, reaching out to emerging as well as established markets, supported by a strong team in-house. We are, uh, as an uh, operation side, we have uh, some functions we are uh, trying to support the QIA in uh, finance, in uh, accounting, in treasury, in IT, in admin, in HR, and uh, procurement. So we try to uh, facilitate things to the investment teams to support them to do their work in a very professional way. Reflecting on this shift that they've made, it's been phenomenal. They have built the platform up to 08, and then as the world collapses, they build the platform to another level. And at that level, they have then executed internal organizational changes, external shifts in partnerships. They've gone global. They've executed from Barclays to VW Porsche to Glencore, and then on to Harrods, and it keeps going. This is the building of through a lot of different change through a great management team inside QIA QH. I am proud to be part of QIA because it's achieving and realizing Qatar Vision 2030 and its top pillars, mainly the economic development, where it aimed to invest globally, uh, to have a portfolio of strong investments, and the second pillar, which is human development, as it invests in its people to be a very strong and talented leaders, uh, not just in Qatar, but globally.